Thanks. Hello again. My name is Zora Markovic. I came from the Laboratory for Thermal Engineering and Energy, uh, Vinci Institute, and I will present some results, uh, uh, named uh, numerical simulation of gas flow through the perforated plates in clean domain flow. Next, please. Uh, establishing a uniform flow distribution in waste uh, uh, fluid often is considered as the main condition required for higher effectiveness of various industrial processes and apparatus, chemical reactors, waste gas cleaning processes or equipments, fuel sets, etc. Additional problem arise in the case of high volumetric flow through the apparatus of large cross-section areas, such as flue gas flow through the chamber of an electrostatic precipitator used for the process of from, uh, removing particulate matter from the flue gas generated in cold fired boilers of thermal power plants. If you take uh, so-called coefficients of variation that represents a measure of the gas flow uniformity in the cross-section of one ESP, it could be shown that maximum theoretical ESP collection efficiency results from perfectly uniform gas velocity distribution. Uh, so uh, if C, uh, CV tends to be zero, efficiency tends to be one. Next, please. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, perforated plates are used to establish as uniform as possible flow over the cross section of the Y angle diffuser X. Uh, the perforated plates could be of different percentage of open area, which is maintained by using different types of shape, size, and arrangement of openings. Next. Next slide, please. And as you can see on this slide, uh, how does it look in reality? It is uh, uh, the first uh, distribution rate on the thermal polar plant, uh, you know, on the SP of thermal polar plant uh, uh, TECO B2 in uh, Costolas. Next slide, please. It is difficult to carry out detailed measurements of fluid flow inside uh, an ESP of complex geometry. Computational fluid dynamics CFT provides a reliable and less expensive method to study the flow behavior inside ESP. There are three main modeling approaches when applying CFD. The first one is full-scale 3D modeling of complex ESP geometry. The second one is modeling of the perforated plates with no thickness, in which case we lose the physical dependency on flow pattern behind the plate. A third one is widely used in, in the CFD simulations. Uh, when perforated plates are modeled as thin porous media of finite, uh, finite tight thickness with directional permeability over which the pressure change is defined as a combination of viscous loss term and inertial loss term. First one, uh, uh, viscous loss term uh, usually is neglected in the simulation. Next slide, please. Uh, with this parameter defined for the stream-wise direction, porous medium model is useful in cases where incoming velocity is perpendicular to the perforate plate. But when the direction of the incoming fluid velocity deviates from the perpendicular, which is always the case in the wide angle diffusers, this model loses in the accuracy of the prediction of the velocity distribution behind the perforated plate as well as the, of the pressure drop to the plate. As you can see on this slide, uh, left, uh, left part of the sli uh, slide, uh, uh, in the case of the ESP with a uh, uh, wide angle diffuser, porous medium model gives unrealistic flow distribution in the front of the first electrical field. Comparing to results presented on the right side, uh, which are obtained by using full scale 3D modeling approach. Uh, therefore, an upgrade to the existing porous medium model is needed. Next slide, please. In our approach, the permeabilities and loss coefficients are calculated based on the results of the CFD numerical simulation for different angles of incoming flow. The numerical calculation were performed by using ANSI CFX finite volume-based software, and the key simulation properties are defined to be parameters representing one design point. The output parameters for all design points are solved by using design of experiments, techniques, and methodology. Proposed procedure is applied on the case of the, as you can see on the, uh, you can see this uh, case on this slide, uh, case of the uh, plate of the thickness five millimeters with face porosity 0 0.3 and forming of the circular openings positioning in rectangular ma manner. Next slide, please. The permeability and loss coefficients algebraic dependencies, dependencies on the angle are defined and implemented in the porous medium model. On that slide, you can see uh, pressure load dependency on the angle of incoming flow, as well as parameters of describing parabola. Uh, uh, when I say angle, I mean both pitch and your angle uh, of, the, of the flow. 
Next one, please. Uh, next. Next. Uh, that'll be short. And that slide, it is a, a little bit more important uh, figure. We can see dependency between the angle of coming flow and the coefficient C2, as well as parameters of describing polynomial. Next slide, please. Uh, this study indicated that proposed approach could be used in prediction of pressure drop and velocity distribution behind the perforated plate for a wide range of real and pitch angles of the coming flow. More reliable prediction of the flow distribution in exit of wide angle diffuser allows optimization of the flow through the ESP, therefore decreasing particulate matter emission. Uh, our main focus in our ongoing work uh, presently is uh, the further automatization of the process of permeability and loss coefficient calculation and implementation, simulation for the cases of the plates with different porosities and opening uh, geometries, and taking into account the influence of the diffuser's walls and other structural elements. Thanks.